today i want to tell you how i met amma mata amritanand mai devi and we affectionately call her amma amma chi so i thought i'll share with you my small little experience how i met this great being you know many years ago late 80s if i remember correctly 89 90 around that time we were all in chennai and i was as usual involved in my yoga teaching and conducting classes in various companies and corporate classes and all that very busy doing that and of course i was already in spirituality to use that word spirituality i was already i had read swami vivekananda i had read about sri ramakrishna i have read about sri bhagwan raman maharshi and so on and so on and so on so one day one of my relatives had come home whom i considered to be one of my closest friend as well he one day casually told us told me in specific that a great saint has come to madras chennai and she sees every person individually a great guru so he suggested i go and meet her i mean find out since you are already in the spiritual line he said that i'll be interested in knowing more about the great gurus the great culture of this great land yeah i just heard was not much interested and then it went into the back of my mind i was teaching those days around that time i was teaching yoga to individuals as well in chennai so i had a student who was the director of max muller bhavan in chennai and i was teaching him yoga and pranayama and all that for years together so one day around that same time interestingly he called me after the yoga class and told me and he used to call me kumar he said mr kumar i got a message from my friend he was telling that from his friend who was an old man living in pondicherry and this old friend of the director of max muller bowen was also from german germany and he was a great devotee disciple of the mother of shri aurobindo ashram so the suggestion the message came from him to this director of max muller bowen mr augustine asking him to go and meet this person called mata amritananda mai who is coming to chennai now mr augustine the director of max muller bowen had no idea about all these i mean he was interested in uh, fitness in health and yoga and pranayama but yeah hardly anything to do with spiritual so when he got this message he called me and said mr kumar i got this message from my friend in pondicherry on our behalf will you go and meet this person watch what's going on and come back and let us know your impression your views about what's happening this is the second time i was been told by mata by you know one of my students about mata amritanamai about amma well i 
became a little interested. And so one day when I heard that Amma was in Chennai, I went to her ashram in Chennai one evening and it was crowded. Of course, not like the crowd that you see nowadays, but then it was still crowded. And somehow I inquired my way through and found out that if you want to see Amma, you have to stand in the queue and go for darshan. So I stood there and as the queue people moved on, I also moved and my time came. I was close to Amma and what I was observing was she was hugging each person, embracing them whispering something in their ear. I don't, I didn't know what was going on. And so when my turn came, she looked at me, hugged me, embraced me and said, my dear son, my dear son. And I don't know what else she said because I was in an overwhelming state, overwhelmed state. And usually when I go to such spiritual talks and meetings, I will have some comments or the other to tell my wife what's going on and how superficial and things like that are. But that day I was so overwhelmed, I, I, I had no words. I simply stood there watching everybody going for darshan. And you know, this sudden thought came and I have to go for the second time. Let's try. And so I stood in the queue, the long queue, again went for darshan. And this time also Amma looked at me as if saying, you come for the second time. So again, the same gesture, the hug, the embrace, my dear son, and then I went and sat among the crowd, listening to the bhajans that was going on. And I don't know how long I sat there. I had no intention to go away, go back home. You know, I just sat there, went on looking at what was going on on stage. Amma hugging everybody and thousands and thousands of people, you know. She never once got up from her seat to stretch her body. No, continuous. I was astounded. And the bhajans, because music is another of my passion. I was listening to the music, the songs, the rhythm. And by the time I recollected and saw the time, looked at my watch, it was way beyond midnight. I rushed back, took my bike, rushed home and I saw my wife really, really worried, thinking about what happened to me, why I am not coming home and so on and so on. And when she asked me what happened, why are you so quiet and moody and so on? I said, yeah, it was a nice experience and I wanted her also to see Amma. But then that particular year, how much ever I could talk about Amma and all that, she listened, but then there was no intention to come and see Amma. And it was, it took me, it took one full year. Next time when Amma came to Chennai, that's when I took my wife. Of course, tremendous change. And my daughter, my beloved daughter, when she met Amma, she was hardly two, two and a half years old. And since then, our lives have changed tremendously. In fact, after the Darshan of Amma, my first Darshan of Amma, I was constantly listening to her songs, her bhajans and thinking about her and I read her biographies in one sitting, one sitting I finished. That's usually what I do. 
and then we became closer and closer to the ashram the activities closer to amma so every time when amma comes to chennai many days before her visit we used to go to the ashram and do all the cleaning work and everything help them and uh, as the years went by we found that we me my wife and my daughter we were becoming closer and closer and closer to amma and then the rest is history everybody knows let me make it clear <clears throat> i am not a follower of amma nobody can follow a guru nobody can follow a rishi a teacher no 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 that's not how it works you can't choose your guru please understand you can't choose your guru no way if anybody says that you have to choose the right guru i mean what are you talking about you can't choose your guru if you choose it will always be the wrong guy so you don't choose you don't get to choose any of these great ones in fact is the the other way around you are chosen you understand what i'm talk about you are chosen by the guru you can't choose the guru the guru chooses you that's how we found ourselves and so eventually i joined amma's university in coimbatore and even today oh yes the intimate relationship goes on the great relationship between a guru and the devotee so the intensity of my spiritual sadhana my personal sadhana has increased in bounds after meeting amma of course there are so many many things to say what is the impact what was the impact of me meeting amma or amma bringing me to her and my family to her no words to describe these are all experiences one has to have no words can describe that so i don't follow amma i don't follow ramana i don't follow krishna ji no 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 it's not following trying to understand trying to know trying to find out what is happening who are these people really who am i what am i <clears throat> 